Okay, so we are here in District 11 at the uh, Puck Pout Home Pond. We parked our bike here. Let's go in and see what's up. Go in. Hello. Ở đây có ai biết nói tiếng Hàn không? Không. Ok. Biết nói tiếng Việt chút chút. Alright, uh, I'm uh, I'm done uh, hot talk. Uh, everything else, what else do you have? Okay, I'll talk about that. Alright, so first things first, we're gonna get a haircut. Alright, alright. Alright. So yeah, you have a hot top, going out, and all that stuff. Alright. I'm a YouTuber. So first get a haircut. I gotta show the guy what I want. I can't speak Vietnamese that well, so I gotta I gotta show him a picture. You see this guy? Dev chai, huh? Alright, let's let's make me boom dev chai, yeah? Alright. Like this guy. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. Help that. Help that. All right, just hit me with a baby powder. I'm already, I'm already liking it. So he is gonna go for the shave. He's already started hitting my, my beard. That's all right. I'm cool with it. I'm down with the shave. So far, the haircut's looking pretty good. I'm telling you, these these barbers here in this country, they know they know what they're doing. Some of my best haircuts of my life have been here. So oftentimes, people ask me, "Do you trust Vietnamese people?" And I think one of the easiest ways to answer that is. I'm letting this stranger take a straight razor blade to my face and neck area. So, yes, I do trust them. Because this guy could easily murder me if he wanted to, but he's not going to. Very nice people. Professional. And I think so far the haircut's looking really good. Something to note here in Vietnam is that traditionally the men will cut your hair. So if you're a man and you're getting a haircut, a guy's gonna cut your hair almost 90% of the time. Um, the women will do other things like they'll do the ear cleaning and then like the shoulder and face massage and the facial, that type of thing. But the men will do the hair cutting. Um, not I mean, I've, I've had a woman cut my hair here before and it was, it was fine, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, um, that's just not traditionally their role for what they would do. Haircut looks pretty decent. Now, the, only, the other thing too is that when you get a haircut here in Vietnam, um, it's hard to communicate exactly what you want. So you show them a picture and then you're just kind of at their mercy a little bit. So, did he go a little bit shorter than I wanted? Probably, yeah. Did I really want that hard part down the middle? Eh, not really sure. But, overall, it's a good looking haircut. You know, it'll be, that'll last me for like a month, and then I'll be ready for my next one. So now, we gotta figure out how to get the rest of the services going. So we'll see what else they have to offer, and then uh, I will select what I want. So now we're waiting for an ear cleaning. Okay, so we got the cut top here, which is 70,000. 
and we have the massage and then and then the goy is 140 and can I like you more tip tip so so tip is you required okay all right so they automatically put a tip in which I don't know if I'm happy about uh, Okay, so 390, that'll be fine. Yeah. No? No. Okay. No you? Even though you're wearing a mask, yeah? Alright, so we're gonna keep her out of it. Okay, right now I'm gonna get my ears clean, but the woman doesn't want to be in the video. So I'm not gonna put her in, but we're getting my ears clean now. Look at all the disgusting crap she got out of my ears. Now, that is why you get your ears clean, because that is gross. I'm glad it's out of here. And the old shaver. If I don't make it out of this alive, love you, mom. Love you, dad. I love all you guys. All my subscribers and viewers, you guys are the best. another thing too so men will usually do the haircuts men will also usually do the straight razor shaving on your face looks like you did a pretty good job too it looks pretty solid a little bit of the nose clipping that's when you know you're getting old when you're trying to grow nose hair that's not a good sign but yeah still alive no uh no throat slitting today. Goidao. So goidao means shampoo. Where's the goidao? Goidao at all. Back here? Okay. We're going to the back. Where do I go? Up. Do I take my shoes off? Am I? Ball, uh, can I? Okay. Anh cái gì anh hiểu mà? Hiểu. Oh, okay. We're going on an adventure. Here. Which one? Over here? Alright. That A? Okay. So, maybe I should take this off. Taking my my stuff off. Yeah, that's a good idea. Putting it here. So I think I'm good here. So this is the shampoo and I guess like massage part. So. No, yeah. So she asked if I wanted warm water. I said, yeah, yeah, warm water.
Yeah, no, 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 Chưa, chưa, chưa. Chưa được hả? Dạ, chưa được. Đúng không? Dạ, yeah, ok. Ok, chưa. Dạ. Yeah. So she was basically trying to ask me like what the right temperature was. And now it's, now it's warm enough. Definitely a relaxing experience after getting a haircut and a shave and ear cleaning. Just to have a nice little massage and shampoo. I've always liked someone else shampooing my hair. It's just a nice feeling. So I think she asked me if she can scratch like more and I'm saying yeah. Yeah. Duck, duck, duck. Yeah, so. It's nice. It's a good service. I think overall value you're getting, you're definitely getting a good value here. And I think it's something that when you're in Vietnam, maybe you just get a haircut, a normal haircut, most of the time. But maybe once every few months, you get you get one of one of these full service type things. First there's like a wet part of the face massage, now there's more of a dry part of the face massage. I think this face massage and then also like shoulder neck massage was supposed to be for like 40 minutes, so not a bad deal at all for the price that we're paying in total, which I will share with you at the end. go for your central waterboarding. She's gonna make me tell me tell tell her a bunch of CIA secrets now. Alright. 
so the rest of that was I got the like a, basically a full body massage and then um, yeah she finished up the shampooing got the haircut shave look pretty good now I guess I'm uh, ready to pay so didn't they, yeah? Okay. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Alright. Alright, so basically 70000 for the haircut, 80000 for the massage, 140000 for the uh, shampoo, and then 100000 tip. And uh, yeah, alright. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you guys. Yeah, bye bye. So yeah, come here and uh, this mine. Thank you very much. Come here and get your your stuff done. Uh, this uh, Hot Cow Hometown, and it's in uh, District 11. So for full service Hot Top experience. Okay, so I wanted to give a little bit better breakdown of actually what happened towards the end. So, I got the shoulder and face massage, then she basically did a full body massage. Uh, it was just a normal massage, nothing like weird or crazy. Um, and then after that, I went down and I paid. But I was getting kind of the idea that they weren't like super happy about maybe the filming in there, even though I've seen other people film YouTube videos in there, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But I wanted to give more of a summary or synopsis of the how I felt about it after I drove away a little bit. So basically, uh, it was a really good experience. I mean, I'd say in terms of experience rank, I'd give it like an 8.5 out of 10 for 390,000 Vietnam Dong, which is like, $18 uh, You're not gonna beat that I got the haircut the shave the ear cleaning uh, The shampoo the face massage neck massage back massage leg massage arm massage and The whole experience probably lasted like two and a half hours. So for 18 bucks Really, I'd say worth it um, You got to kind of come out here to the to not the hood but like you know you're not gonna get that price probably in district one so i'm here in district 11 a little bit more of a locals district but uh you know 15 minute drive from where i'm staying in district one so not a big deal but if you guys have any questions about that go ahead and drop a comment down below and then uh yeah of course like and subscribe I'm trying to grow this channel up to a thousand subscribers so Really appreciate all you guys who click that subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.